Hello mathematicians, today we are talking about numerical patterns. This again. Well grumpy kitty, this time we are generating and graphing multiplicative patterns. Can't wait. The term numerical patterns is just fancy for a list of numbers created by a pattern rule. A multiplicative pattern just means we are multiplying. Rules. I'm not a fan of those. Do you mean like brushing your teeth or not swimming after reading? Not quite grumpy kitty. Pattern rules are equations that relate two variables, like x and y. It tells us what to do to x to get our y. And this creates our table of numbers. Yes, we can use that rule to create a pattern table and also create a graph. Can you give me an example? Good idea. Let's try a problem together. First, we will create a table for the rule y equals 4x. This rule means that we will multiply 4 to the number under the x column to get the y column. Can you show me? Sure. If we have 1 in the x column, we multiply by 4 to get the value of the y column, 4. Oh, so if I had 2 in the x column, I would multiply by 4 to get the y column. It would be 8. Good job, Grumpy Kitty. Let's finish the table. Now that we have the table, how do we make the graph? Let's try it together, Grumpy Kitty. The X coordinate corresponds to the horizontal line on the graph and the Y coordinate to the vertical line. X is 1. I move to the left 1 and up to the 4 for the Y coordinate. There we go. I can also plot 2 and 8, 3 and 12, and 4 and 16. Those are all the numbers on our table. But can we plot more? Sure we can. If the x coordinate is 6, we just multiply by 4 to find the y coordinate. That's 24, 6 and 24. We could also plot the x coordinate 8 and multiply by 4 to see the y coordinate is 32. 8 and 32. Now I think I'm getting. Keep practicing Grumpy Kitty and we will see you for the next video. Yeah, I'll check my calendar. I have a very busy schedule.